The heat is on. Colder temperatures are on their way. Are you ready? We learn how you can tell when your furnace needs to be fixed, how it shows signs of age, and what is the most efficient source. Gotcha! Speed cameras out in full force, catching you put the pedal to the metal. But is the number of the machine receives accurate? We're going to get you some answers. The time is here to deck the halls and trim your trees, but how many of you look at your decorations and hope for something new? Angie Hicks tells you how you can update your holiday look without spending a lot of money. One of the places you may want to look is at a barn sale. And better yet, when you go to buy, how about some of your money being donated to charity? We're going to tell you how. And American Idol winner Jordan Sparks guest stars on the hit CBS drama CSI. But what role she's playing just may surprise you. It's only one reason why I have blood on my hands. And I can't tell you why. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. And I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Delmarva Life in Historic Studio D. So it looks like uh, the rocket successfully launched. Yeah, uh, I wanted to see it. I last went, night. I went to bed. I didn't get to you see didn't it. You didn't get to see no. it. I saw it. I, I saw it out my front door, and it looks like a lot more people are stepping outside to see it. I think you know we're, we're getting the word out, and they're they're knowing that it's launching. Right. And if you look at Facebook, everybody has comments and pictures. I went to the uh, Wallops Island Facebook and saw some pictures uh, that they posted from all over the East Coast. Take yeah. a look at this one. This is from. Washington Township, New Jersey. Ooh. Look at that. Now I'm thinking that the, these, a lot of these pictures, they leave the shutter open because it, it wasn't well, necessarily the, the, one long streak that you saw there. Okay, all right. Here's one from Hanover, Pennsylvania. And you can see it just over that house, a little to the right there, and okay. Fall River, Massachusetts. How about that? Yeah. And then our last one, I believe, is from Washington, D.C., right over the Capitol over building. Over the Capitol building. Yeah, so lots of neat stuff. Some great pictures there. You showed me a couple more, and they were just absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, if you go to the Facebook page of NASA Wallop Science, you'll see it. And speaking of launch, did you know that it was 28 years ago today that went Microsoft Windows launched Windows? Really? <laughs> yes. No, I didn't know that. Windows 1.0 oh, wow. launched it, and this is what it looked like. Take a look at that. It's I, changed a little bit over the day. I hate to admit, I remember having years. to deal with that screen. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't have to deal with typing um, MS DOS commands. Mm -mm. You just kind of used your, you know, mouse and clicked and everything. And I think everybody, just about everybody, uses that at some point, you yeah. know, in their life. Wow! Amazing how far we've come. Twenty-eight years ago today, man. Well, over the last couple of months, um, I don't know if you heard about this coming out of uh, Worcester County. Uh, over the last couple of months, it seems that there have been some maximum security inmates who have managed to pick the lock on their cells. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. Um, if I remember the numbers correctly, there are 14 locks total in the facility. Um, there are four of the 11 inmates that did it more than once. Right. And it's been going on for the last couple of months. So what they finally decided was to put them in a more secure area, replace all the locks. 14 really? locks, 14 locks. <laughs> $110,000 plus. To replace the locks. 14 locks. 14 locks. Are they gonna replace them with the same kind of locks? Because if I guess they these are. were faulty locks. They were faulty locks. So maybe, maybe the same ones, maybe not. I think they just should have gone to the hardware store. I could be wrong. <laughs> Some padlocks. <laughs> Wow! Isn't that something? Oh my goodness, that is something. Um, we 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 talk. A lot, there's a lot of craft breweries going on. There's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, local breweries uh, in the area on Delmarva. The Shorebilly Brewing Company. Have you heard about this one? They're in West Ocean City. They mm -hmm. may be no more. Really? The deal is they may be changing their name, quite possibly. Um, the company got a district. There was another company that goes by Shorebilly that has told this man, Dan Robinson, who's the owner of the company. You can't use that name. Right. So now it's looking like they're going to have to change the name of, of the, the company oh. because of the trademark. Yeah, the name oh, of the, okay. the beer as well. So it's not going to be marketed that way anymore. Um, here's what Dan had to say of the changes, which I found very interesting. He said it's going to be weird. It's like all of a sudden having a kid for a few years and all of a sudden his name's something different. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, did he not know that there was already a, I would think so. someone I else would, was using that I, name? I know the first time he used it, they said, okay, you can, but only once. Okay. So I guess he used it for something else as well. Uh, but they've, they've got an entire line trademark, so they said, no uh, more, can't do that anymore. Okay. Don't do it. Hmm. Well, it was a big day in Georgetown yesterday. Yep, they rolled out their 25 <sighs> trucks and bulldozers to make sure they're ready to get rid of all that snow we're going to get this winter. 
<laughs> did you really have to say no, it that I way? No, I didn't have to say it that way. <laughs> it's almost time, though, isn't it? Uh, what's that? It's almost time, though. It is almost time. It, and I don't know anything. I'm not, I haven't been no. talking to meteorologists no. or anything. I don't know anything. All we know I, for sure. I personally hope we don't get any snow. All we know for sure is no snow this week. Okay. You know that as a fact. Beyond that, we're just working things out. <laughs> You know, I have always had an affinity for horses. Love the whole equestrian yeah. thing. Queen Anne's County uh, was represented by their first ever quarter horse youth equestrian team at the 47th annual All-American Quarter Horse Congress. Take a look at this picture here. From the left, Araya Lusk, Mackenzie Miller, Heather R. Scott, team advisor Karen Bishop, Marks, Angelina Wyatt, Peyton Ridgely, and Samantha Tracy at the largest single breed horse show in the world. Wow. Over 4,200 horses registered this year from 48 different states, Canada, Germany, Austria, Australia. Wow. I mean, this was a huge show. The youth team competition has 68 teams. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time Queen Anne's has put together a team. And in the youth age geldings halter class, all three Queen Anne's entries, Samantha Tracy, Heather R. Scott, and Angelina Watts, with their horses, placed in the top 15. How about that? Which qualified them for the finals. That is amazing. Good job, girls. Yeah, Great job. absolutely. Congratulations to them. Well, here, if you like horses, mm -hmm. here's an opportunity to leave a legacy. Opening bidding for naming rights for the single foal born this year in the Maryland herd of wild horses that are on Assateague National right. Seashore will be held on eBay from December 6th through the 16th. Now, see the little foal on the left there? This is N9BFQ-GL. Cute little N9BFQ-GL. <laughs> Why would you want to change that? Yeah, the highest <laughs> bidder during the 10-day bidding window will receive naming rights to the fold. Starting bid is $300, and the proceeds are going to benefit Assateague National Seashore. If you want to go bid on naming rights of that fold, if you have a name in mind, all you need to do is go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Could we just call them N9B for short? <laughs> Why not? A little nickname, <laughs> N9B. Uh, popular panda cam, you know about it at the Smithsonian National Zoo. Uh, the panda cub taking his first Aww. shaky steps, working it, working it. Keepers <laughs> at the zoo are, are making plans for the next big milestone Yeah. Uh, because there's no name for this. Yeah, they wait until vignette. they're 100 days old, right? Yes. That's the tradition. Which is what, December 1st, right? Yep. Asking the public to put, almost. Oh, asking the public he's to put in their he's, he's, he's oh. almost there. I, oh, oh, so close. So close. And there he goes. Was, he's not giving up. So is it he or she? I don't know. It's sure. a panda. It's she. she. It's a she. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Yes. There she goes. There she goes. And the and crowd burst she's out. she's down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. How about that? Now, I think they're choosing from four or five different names right, right. that are in Chinese. So if you want to find out exactly what those names are and put in your vote, all you have to do is go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Well, there's two panda cubs that were born four months ago at the Atlanta Zoo. And uh, they're actually getting to hang out with their mother for the first time. And this is kind of a big deal. And fortunately, it's going very, very well. Take a look at this. Pandas <laughs> sometimes have a hard time with motherhood, but Loon Loon seems pretty comfortable. In fact, she seems, look at that, <laughs> downright happy cuddling with her cubs. <laughs> Take a look at that. I mean, she's like the proud mama. If she had a Facebook, these pictures, the, the pictures oh, of yeah. these cubs would be all over All it. over. There you go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I could just look at these pictures all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. We should have given you a, a cute warning this morning. This we afternoon. should have. We didn't do it. Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll be careful too next time, just so you know it's going to be overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, tis the season for sniffles and sneezes. If you come down with a cold, many times we reach for the medicine bottle. But did you know there are natural remedies that may be able to help you feel better. We'll tell you what they are. Wouldn't it be nice to avoid getting sick in the first place? Well, you may be able to. Now, the simple solutions are right here on Delmarva, targeting the part of our body that causes us to get sick. We're going to show you what it is and how it works for both adults and children. And there's no time to get sick. You have decorating to do. And maybe this year you want a fresh holiday look for your home. Angie from Angie's List is going to share some out-of-the-box, budget-friendly decorating ideas. Well, speaking of budget, can you really afford a speeding ticket right now? Mm, don't know about you, not me. Cops are watching thanks to more speed cameras popping up on Delmarva. WBOC's Bill Mitch drops in to help us understand how these cameras work. And singer Jordan Sparks steps in front of the camera tonight as a guest star on CSI. She'll tell us more about this exciting role and get a preview of tonight's show. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union. 
guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.